Notion really is on fire with these updates recently. Just today, they released conditional formatting. So in this video, I want to go over everything you need to know about this new feature, plus a few helpful tips and tricks. In order to get to this brand new option, what you want to do is click on the settings option next to your blue new button on any database. And here you see that we have now this conditional color option. If you click on there, you see a little preview and then we can set up a new color setting. In there, we can then first select our property that will inform it. So similar right to in a spreadsheet where you can say, okay, if a cell has a certain value, please format it. Here in the database, it would be okay if a row has a certain value, right? Format the whole row like this. And then we can say, for example, okay, based on the area, right? You see we have different areas. So maybe I want to really highlight, actually priority, let's highlight really our important tasks. So I go to priority and we see at first, wherever it says priority is not empty, it will just highlight everything because we have priorities everywhere. That's not quite what we want. So we'll go in here and say, okay, priority is, and then we select high. And now you see only our high priority tasks are highlighted. What's more, in our settings, as you might have just spotted, it told me that the background color will match the option. So we can change this when we could say actually everything that is important, I want to have it, you know, highlighted in blue, even though my tag is red, or I can stick with the match option uh, version. Then if I were to ever change the tag color right from this, for example, to purple, right, also the highlight will change with it. Let's do another one because you can combine several highlights in the same database. I want to highlight all the tasks that are due this week. So I go back again to my settings, conditional color, and then here we will click on add another. And this time we will look for the due date. Again, it will default to <laughs> I color it if it's not empty. But instead, what we want to say is relative to today this week. Now we see everything that we need to do this week gets this nice little green background color. Setting these conditional formatting rules is very, very similar to creating your filters in Notion. And just the way that filters behave also applies here, right? So if we remember we have things for high and we have things for this week, if I now change the priority for something this week to high, you will see that it gets red because currently in our conditional color one, this is the first logic that applies, right? But I could reorder them and I could tell them now everything that is this week should be green, right? And then after that, I want to have the priority. But we can't add two colors or a gradient yet to indicate right, that it's both. So you have to choose which one of your formattings should take priority. Now, one thing to be aware of is that our rules so far are still quite rudimentary. What I mean by that is if you look at the options that we have for conditional color, uh, we have don't have all our filter options that are usually available. For example, but if we so for due date and we say due date is, we can't select here a dynamic today option, right? There's no uh, option for me to select this uh, today option the way it would be here in our filter right where I can go in and say okay due date um, start date um, is and then select here from the drop down today right that's something that is currently missing here so certain types of conditional logics will not yet be possible but I assume that they will soon update it and for a lot of times you can just do some other workarounds for example if you wanted to have anything in the past you can easily do this by saying okay uh, and give me everything where the due date uh, is relative to today. And then we select the past and then year, right? And the past one year will probably catch everything, right? Okay, technically things that are several years in the past won't be catched. So you could also increase this to five years if you wanted to. Um, but that way basically gives you an effective way to highlight all the things that are overdue. The next limitation to keep in mind is that currently you cannot combine several filters for one rule. Right, so you can't say, okay, I want everything highlighted that is in the past and that is of high priority. It's currently based on only one property, but I'm sure that this will soon be added to this functionality because it's so similar to the way the rest of the filters work. Along the same lines, one thing that is also not supported are formulas, right? So of course we could in theory have a workaround where we just say, okay, give me everything where um, the due date, right, is um, bigger then now, which means it's in the past. And uh, let's use an end operator, right? Due date is in the past and um, the uh, priority is high, right? That that would be a workaround uh, in theory because we now have a, a checkbox on everything. But as you can see, if I go now into conditional color and I want to create a new color setting and I look for formula, 
it doesn't pop up. Formula properties are not yet supported right now. We just need to use the basic ones. The same is actually true for relations. I'm not sure whether we have actually a relation on this one, not yet, right? But if I said now uh, relation to um, any project database, right? it doesn't really matter what we relate it to. Uh, let's add this uh, as a two-way relation. Sure, uh, why not? And we go back to our oops, conditional formatting. You see that also in this case, uh, the option for it doesn't present itself, right? So currently, only basic property types are supported. But again, I'm sure it's only a question of time until we have them all. What does work, however, are conditional logic on any database view type. So here we are in a board view, and we can as well here go into conditional color and say, okay, I want to color everything right where my priority um, is, again, right, the high option. I want to really have that highlighted, and I love this. I think this is actually such a good way to highlight elements in a board view, right? It's one of the most used views in our systems anyway, and now we can make certain things stand out very clearly. Really love how this is done, and also that if you see, even if you have sort of the background turned on, right, even then the red from the highlight is visible against the uh, slightly more transparent red from the background. And just to complete this, right, works also on feeds, in calendars, on lists, on charts, it doesn't, right? But there you have the other conditional logic formatting for your different colors. But pretty much any view, right, that displays the information can have conditional formatting. So much for conditional formatting. I'm really excited to roll this out across all our client workspaces to help highlight the most important bits and pieces of information. Just keep in mind that for now, right, our rule building is fairly simple, but I'm sure we will soon see improvements there. Now, if you want to see a few other Notion updates that also were released very recently, among them one of my absolute favorites of 2025, then click over there. I have another video with, I think, seven more really, really cool updates that you definitely don't want to miss.